So you're thinking about starting a party hire business. Well, I got asked by a friend to start it four weeks ago. So I'm gonna give you my journey on my four weeks of starting this business. I had a couple of rules I had to follow as well. I had to do no paid advertisement ads and it was only through organic searches. And make sure you stick around for the end as I'm gonna give you a bonus on how even get more clients through your party hire business if you choose to start this business. Let's go. How did I get started? Well, I started with $500. Uh, with that $500, I bought uh, foldable chairs, $200 worth. Uh, I found a market on Marketplace and I bought $420. And I bought $180 worth of foldable tables. Software I used was Bookable. Bookable is something that you really do need long term. It keeps track of stock inventory, it keeps track of payments, it can request payments, it receives payments, and it updates automatically. And it also keeps track on what's going out and what's not going out. So it's a really good software that I would say long term you should get. If you do want to get it, just Google Bookable. Um, the price is I think it's like $54 a month or something. But have a look at it, see if it's worthwhile for you if you want to get into this business opportunity. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if this video is anything good for you um, as it helps me as well. How did I go for four weeks? I made 1.3 thousand. Um, I haven't been paid $76 yet. Uh, revenue is 1.4. Uh, four weeks of sales only through marketplace, which is not too bad if you're thinking an organic reach. Um, issues I had is I had a lot of people wanting more stock than I had. I had people wanting ice buckets. I had people wanting five marquees. I had people wanting 24 marquees. I had a person wanting five, 525 chairs. Um, a lot of orders I wasn't able to fill and I was only able to accept the small orders. On the right hand side you can see the orders I was able to accept, the, the I think the maximum was the $550 which was literally every bit of my stock. Um, so when there's a $525 order coming out, it means I'm booked out for the day. Um, and that is limited my sales reach, but I think if I had 500 chairs, 500 tables, and 50 marquees, the revenue potential would be so much higher. Uh, how did I get the jobs? Well, I went through my Facebook Marketplace and the community pages. Do not underestimate community pages buy and sell. They are amazing. You can reach thousands and thousands of people. On my Marketplace, uh, marketplace ad, I was able to rack up 12,000 clicks in a month a month. That is a lot of clicks, 12,000. If you try to do that on Facebook advertising, that would cost quite a lot of money. Now, then clicks mean then people are kind of interested in what I'm selling or what I'm renting out actually. So keep an eye on the community pages. I would say if you are gonna start this, join all, every single community page, buy and sell around your area. And once a week, upload a photo of your items and the price. It works amazing and you should not drop that opportunity. Uh, should you give it a go? I would say if you're looking for a business to start at home, pretty easy on a low budget, we're talking $500. It's it's less than a full time, it gets you know, working at a supermarket. I would say yes, if you're, you're, if you're at home looking for a business opportunity, I've learned that when I was doing the whole higher party business, majority of my clients were coming to my house to pick up the stock. Yes, I had some that wanted a delivery. I charged a dollar per kilometer. Sometimes it racked up $50, $60 just to go out there and pick it up and drop it off. It's a good idea if you want to start an online kind of business um, at home because it works really wonderful where you're just at home watching Netflix or something while you're waiting for a customer to come pick up your stock and give you money and then return it a day later. Uh, I did hear a couple of issues about saying, you know, what happens if stock's damaged? What happens if someone steals it? Well, back to Bookable, you can surcharge their credit card or their card if they don't return it in a certain day. So they're going to return it at the end of the day. And if they return it broken, yeah, charge it to them. You know, charge a repair bill. If it's completely damaged, well, they're gonna have to buy you a new one. So charge them the amount that it cost you. So it's, it's really good business. Now guys, for the bonus, if you are thinking of starting a party high business, the biggest opportunity I would say is the, the amount of clients I had for birthday parties, newborn birthday, uh, newborn babies, 
all that kind of stuff was probably around 80 percent of my sales is birthdays now facebook market uh, facebook ads if you wanted to get into the ad making you can target in a demographic of lifestyle and friends of people who have birthdays in within the next zero to seven days or seven to thirty days or even in the month or the week now i sent you a look have a look at the little photo down here it describes on what you can target and get your ad for your hired equipment to that person so example if you're going to start a party hire business and you want to focus more on baby showers or birthday parties or themes and all that kind of stuff that is your target audience that is what you should be targeting and i can i haven't actually tested it out but why wouldn't it work you're targeting people who had their birthdays coming up so guys that's it at the end of the video if you guys find this interesting or if it helped you in any kind of way make sure you hit that subscribe button so it keeps me in a job as well and i will be talking to you guys later see you later